Hey everybody, I am um, going to kind of guide you through now the beginning of color mixing. So you've thought about your mark making, how to load your brushes, how to hold your brushes, hopefully you thought about values and how you can go light to dark with every color. And now you have to start thinking about all of the possibilities of color mixing. So in your packet, there is a color chart like this, and you're going to paint your own over just a couple of class periods. And this column right here, the neutrals, is actually really, really important because not only do we want to paint bright, bold colors, but we also want to neutralize color. Okay, so you should have watched my little video about the color wheel. And of course, if you're in class, we're going to do some talking about the color wheel. Um, what you need to do, I'm going to tip my camera down. What you need to do is just divide um, your piece of paper. And there, this is one piece of watercolor paper that you need for this. It's got a little bit of texture on it. Um, and it is, we're actually not using watercolor for it, but this paper uh, works well for this exercise. And I want you guys to put one inch increments all the way around your edges, make little notches at one inch, because you're going to make one inch boxes um, for this little color chart. And um, if it seems tedious to you to paint this, just remind yourself, push yourself, remind yourself that you're trying to get um, all of this variation of color on here because then you can match that up on your final paintings and ask yourself like do I really truly have 72, 84, 100 whatever colors represented or am I just using one or two or three colors at all times. The more um, complex you can get with like your color and adding that value to your color the better painter you are going to be easier said than done for sure so I'm just dividing this up right now and then I'm going to show you as soon as I get this divided up um, how to put the color on for those of you guys learning at home I miss you and make sure you're keeping up with each week every week make sure you read down through Monday through Friday of where you should be Um, I have 14 at home learners right now. And so if I'm not keeping up with you, you email me and you make sure that you know what's going on and ask me questions and we can do <clears throat> a private zoom or whatever you need. All right. I am almost done with my chart. And then I can start to talk to you about the color portion. On the um, photocopy that you have, the top red part of the chart and the bottom purple part of the chart are cut off simply because um, the copy or paper is a little bit smaller than this. But in actuality, I want you to have a complete square there. So one inch sections, guys. I'm going to go ahead and start painting, and I'm going to start with the top row of red. Since you have red, yellow, and blue, nearly everything on this color chart is going to be mixed for you. I guess you guys do have a green in your paint set, too, so you can use that. Um, but as you go down through here, this represents red, red, orange, orange, yellow, orange, yellow, yellow, green, green, blue, green, blue, purple, red, red, purple, and then all the way to purple. Sorry, this was blue, purple. I messed that up. Um, so remember that every single time you get a hue, you can also really lighten the hue. And if you were to move this way on the value scale by adding the complement in, you could darken each one of these hues too. We won't necessarily go that direction. Then in this, whole column at the end the this is the neutralized form of the color so this is red mixed with the color directly across from it on the color wheel so this is red mixed with green this is orange or, sorry red orange mixed with blue green this is orange mixed with blue this is yellow orange mixed with oh what's the complement of yellow orange purple blue 
this is yellow mixed with purple, etc. The color directly across over here is represented by these neutralized colors. And you have to be able to make a variety of grays and browns and darker values over here to really capture the paint um, and capture the forms in the painting, I guess I should say. So you can keep this next to you. You can start with red. Really, you can start with any color, but you want to go the direction of the rainbow. The kind of red that I have here in my palette is more of a red-orange, but that's okay. I'm going to start at the top. I'm going to start with that pure red at the side, and I am going to practice just like you did with your value fading in. Now, if I do want to make that red a little bit darker, if I don't want to follow this exactly, and I want to take just a dot of green on my brush, you can see there I just have a little bit of green, and I want to add that in with red, that will darken this red right away. Did you guys see how that green just darkened that red right away? And just like on this little chart, I am going to fade across with each one of these colors. When I get to this I'm going to skip a column, like this is your lightest column here, then I'm going to skip a column of white boxes, and then I am going to put that brown that I create from the red and green. It's going to go here in this final box of neutralized colors. Again, there is an example in your packet that you can lay right next to you as you try to do this. If some of your colors get a little wonky and weird and experimental, that is totally fine. This is about learning. This is about using pea-sized amounts. Go one color at a time. All you need to have in there is one color that you've mixed at a time with its complement next to it. You don't have to get out every color. Um, if you're doing this at home, we'll probably spend about two class periods, so maybe an hour or a little bit more on this exercise um, if you're doing it in one chunk. Uh, and again, yeah, if you're doing this in class, we'll spend a two, maybe two and a half periods on this. And then we are going to go into our next project, which is actually uh, proven to be a really, a really fun one and I have some really cool examples for. So... There's your color chart. You're moving from mark making into value into color. Color's crazy. Have fun.